Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. What a day, what a day, what a day it has been. I'll show you what we did today. Uh, me and the hooch. We, uh, this is 240 feet T post with uh, four by fours concreted in the ground. And uh, hopefully by this weekend, I do have to put some. Uh, uh, some uh, side bracing on but hopefully by this weekend everything will have sat and cured and then we'll be able to stretch uh, the wire uh, this will be the front part for the uh, well the front of our property there's a house right there uh, 240 feet and that was a good stretch that was a good run and today was also a regular work day uh, for me as well Work from home, had to do some reports and get those get those things generated and got them sent out uh, earlier uh, today. But it has just been one of those days where you do 10 things and then like you needed to do 12. But dadgummit, it's been a heck of a day. Uh, Hooch hit her head with a T-post pounder, which we weren't quite sure if she was going to have to go to the doctor. Uh, she was on number five pounding them in and it slipped. I've done it before. Thing slips, angles off, catches you in the head. Yes, sir. It rang my bell uh, years ago. Um, but got her inside. Didn't cut the scalp, but she is feeling kind of sore it's going to leave a pretty good goose egg on the side of her head and a bruise but it's been like seven hours and she's been sitting in the house uh laying around gave her something for the pain nothing that within the blood or anything just something to uh, uh to help with a with a discomfort and she is uh uh, doing well, no vomiting, uh, pupils are the same and, and everything, good response, uh, no slurring or anything like that. So it doesn't appear that there's a concussion. So she is pretty good. Um, we'll probably go to sleep a little bit later tonight and then I'll get up a few times and check on her and make sure she's doing okay. It's kind of what you do. Um, with somebody who has a, uh, a potential concussion uh, uh, a whop to the head but what else um, I was out here uh, I guess on like number 18 uh, T post or something like that out there and a guy pulled up uh, that owns the mobile home park adjacent to us a really interesting guy his name's uh, Billy uh, Billy Mayer or something like that. Really nice guy in, in his mid-70s. He and his wife own it. It's like eight or nine mobile homes. Some of them are, are, are kind of run down, but I, you know, that's fine. I'm not concerned. You know, put up a good fence. And uh, they are getting ready to sell it. So I have talked to him. Uh, and he's going to talk to his wife about us possibly purchasing the next. Seven acres adjacent to us, which is a mobile home park uh, of them about four are in good shape. And we will see. Uh, how that works out it's just interesting he and he's an old uh, uh, really nice guy believes in uh, freedom and liberty and uh, ARs uh, he's he's one of us and we talked at length and he told me some history about the house he knew the guy that built the house uh, our house here was built in 1960 by an army colonel retired colonel I think Blevins or something like that is who he said. And he built it as like his last house. And he um, he built it very, very well. I said, and I told the, uh, I told the, the gentleman that, that stopped and we were talking. I said, it's built like a bunker downstairs. He said, yep, 
He said it is. He said I. He said he'd been in it uh, a lot uh, over the you know years ago, and he said it is. He said he built it like a bunker uh, downstairs, and I said, well, it is stout, and he said, yep, no, you know, no worries about that. Um, and he said the upstairs was built very, very well, and I, and it was nice hearing some stuff about it. It's got good bones. The subsystems and everything are, are you know, having to be uh, updated. Uh, like I said, we've already replaced the hot water heater. The, uh, uh, the automatic dishwasher took a crap. Um, but again, this is stuff that we kind of knew was coming, so we are just anticipating and planning on this stuff. Um, in and amidst all of this stuff, um, last night I was uh, doing some stuff on the car, getting it ready, because uh, I do a lot of traveling in my car, so I try to make sure it's really, really maintained. And I, was, I always walk around and check the tires, put my hand under it, pull my hand back, and I felt thread, and I thought, ah, dang it. So, I went and got a new tire today uh, on uh, the left front, and it was a good tire, a really good tire. Came back, and it was time to uh, change the oil, of course, and so I did getting everything ready for that, take the oil cap off and set it up on, uh, up on the valve cover. Yeah, you guessed it when I jacked it up, lost that thing somewhere. It is now one with the, uh, uh, with the chassis somewhere. No freaking idea, but somewhere. So, I had to change the oil, put a rag in the valve cover because it, you know, it spews oil everywhere. Go to the auto parts store and find something comparable that fit, kind of, sort of, made it fit. And on the way back, I noticed the brand new tire was low. And I thought, holy cow. And, and as I was looking at it, I felt a nail in the brand new tire and I thought some times it's not nothing never mind and I started laughing because um, that's all you can do so I came home it was damn near flat and told the hooch and she said I cannot believe your luck said, well it is so I put a plug in a five hour old tire but the good thing is I always keep a plug kit in every vehicle we have and one in the house or, or one in the shop as well just for that kind of stuff because you never know. And I drive, some days I drive 300 miles round trip. So if I can pop a plug in a tire and get back on the road, it is in my best interest to do that. So, I mean, it's just kind of funny how everything happens like that at once. Still never found the damn oil, the oil cap. Uh, I was talking to uh, uh, Bobby about it uh, on uh, Facebook. I won't mention his last name. He may not want me to. But uh, I, I was just kind of, he asked me how my day had gone, and I was just uh, messaging him back, uh, back and forth, just talking a little bit. <laughs> I said, it's been a hell of a day. Uh, it has been a hell of a day, guys. But... Everything is good. I call those things, uh, it's kind of like a little money problem. Uh, as long as you can take $5 or $8 and throw it at it and that'll fix the problem. Who cares? In the grand scheme of things, it's nothing too dang terrible. Anyway, guys, that was my day. Starts again tomorrow. Anyway, just a second, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop over here as well as my beautiful wife, who is doing very well now. On the opposite side will be some videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky guys. Take care of your people.